Joining us this morning is Colin Greaves, who is the head of public relations at Digicel Trinidad and Tobago. Morning, Colin. Morning, Carrie. How are you? I'm doing quite well, my friend. How are you? I'm, I'm okay, you know. It felt like, um, you know, we survived. Right. <laughs> just barely, just barely. Nah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, man, Colin. You do more than survive. You yeah. thrive this time. Yeah, Rockers, we, we survived and we thrived, which is important, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I should have come and jump up um, in, in some Digicel things. Anyway. But you did. <laughs> <laughs> now, Colin, tell me how confident were you in all the projects that Digicel took part in having experienced a 2020 year that we had? Um, we were pretty confident, you know. Uh, remember, at the end of the day, we have a really fantastic um, team of people. So at Digicel, it's a very large team um, in terms of our marketing support, sales, products, all of the various parts of the business would um, usually come together and have um, from brainstorming sessions to, of course, just discussing what value we can bring to the customers and to TNT. And I mean, um, after all, you know, we're, we're trained Begonian, eh? so, you know, we, we're almost like carnival specialists. So even if there's no carnival, we can um, figure out how to exist on a virtual space and still do a lot of um, activities safely to, to commemorate the festival. So from an hour and a lot of planning and discussions and stuff went in it. So we were pretty confident that people would have um, bought into the idea of these right. virtual concerts that we were producing a lot of the virtual experiences. Of course. And what kind of work went into ensuring that these events, initiatives and activations would be successful? Um, a lot of, well, when COVID-19 first started since, what, March last year in Trinidad, um, Digicel was one of the first companies out of the um, of corporate social um, citizens out of the, the gates with a lot of activities to engage people digitally. You know, we definitely, as a, as a digital lifestyle partner, we so understand the value of um, being connected and staying um, engaged virtually and digitally. So we would have done a lot of cameo concerts and online events and games and activities for um, our customers and Trinidad and Tobago by extension. Um, throughout since so this is since March so you know after doing so many like we're talking dozens of events and virtual activities right. um, there was a sort of ongoing um, formula that worked pretty well so from anticipating the needs of what uh, our customers would have wanted um, anticipating what the carnival industry would have wanted and needed so the type of support that they would have needed from um, of course fiber broadband connectivity to streaming assistance with streaming platforms to um, Financial assistance, you know, we've, we really had a lot of um, pre-planning meetings that allowed us to pull together all of these various touch points and then um, and execute. So a lot of work went into to those type of things. You know, meeting with a lot of the carnival stakeholders was pretty important. Um, not necessarily just anticipating people's needs, but meeting them on the ground and really asking them and getting a feel for, okay, what type of support do you want at this time? So some events and, and people in the carnival space, some stakeholders wanted promotional assistance to ensure that their voice is heard and that most people as possible get to see and hear their products that they're putting um, digitally. Others needed uh, financial assistance. Um, others needed, needed assistance with videography and filming and stuff like that. So um, at the GCL, you know, we stepped in in a lot of various ways and, um, and the work that went in behind the scenes was really holistic. You know, our marketing team did a really fantastic job at being on the ground and, and really meeting the stakeholders and doing a lot of interviews and stuff to understand what was needed from us. And being the first out of the gate, it, um, you know, there was, there was a lot of work that went into pivoting toward the direction that uh, Digicel is going now, especially uh, creating virtual space. Were there any challenges that the team has faced uh, up to this point, especially in the carnival season? Of course, you know, um, challenges are, are part of the process. I mean, um, you know, when you push yourself really hard, especially when you're going into bluish and space and, and clear space where, you know, this is the first time that you're doing this. No one has done this before. Um, you always are going to face challenges. So one of the things that we really had to overcome in terms of um, how to responsibly do a lot of these activities that we were doing, right. um, how to ensure that all of the COVID-19 protocols were adhered to um, through all of the pre-filming, all of the staging of activities and events, um, how to, of course, keep people engaged, um, especially in the last week of the carnival, of virtual carnival, <laughs> you would have seen... Um, a lot of events popping up onto the calendar. So every single night, there would have been different activities and things for people to, to do. So of course, um, a challenge there is, you know, how do you really ensure that the content that Digicel is creating is current and up-to-date and, and interesting, um, right. and that it's the content that people really want to see and consume online. Um, in addition to that, uh, it, was, it was a pretty um, 
interesting exercise. It was um, the, the team learned a lot from the stakeholders on the ground. We would have um, met with so many different people and, and they really came together quite well to um, produce the, the range of events from with our mass band partners, Yuma, to with the National Carnival Commission, the NCC, to um, the Moko Jumbies and, and the various traditional characters that we're using in some of our filming, you know, corralling everyone and making sure that, that there was adherence to all of the protocols that we need to, needed to follow um, was, was one of the challenges, but it, but it worked pretty well. Wonderful, wonderful. And you know, Digicel has a huge team of Digicel influencers and some big names at that. You know, how has this experience uh, been having the responsibility of these artists and supporting their creative projects and their craft, really, in this time here? Well, you know, our, our brand strapline is Better Together. And for Carnival in particular, it was Better Together this Carnival. And we really wanted to meet and, and ensure that we met their needs. And um, all of, are you right, from our social media influencers to our Soka brand ambassadors, to our various um, Carnival stakeholders. So for instance, our partnership with the NCC um, that recognizes Digicel as the official network of Trinidad and Tobago's Carnival. Um, you know, meeting all of these 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 groups and understanding, you know, um, what their needs were and how best we could have we could have met it. You know, um, they are the, the the man on the ground. You know, we are right. yes, we are a, a major supporter of a lot of these things. Some on the structural and the um, the business side of things, but of course, if we lose that connection to the supporters on the ground, to the actual artisans, to the people that make the festival happen, you know, um, then we're spinning top and mud. So basically, meeting with all of you, right? Meeting with all of these um, influencers and stuff, you know, creating opportunities for them to earn some sort of revenue um, and income. I mean, it's no secret that the the economic fallout that would have come with COVID nineteen, and um, you know, the Giselle would have invested three million dollars into the Carnival twenty twenty one or the virtual Carnival experience, um, and by that we would have seen um, an opportunity to really um, financially support and, right. and temporarily employ many people. Um, we would have had to work with, of course, costume and set designers and uh, videography crews and multimedia crews right. and staging right. crews to build a lot of these stages and platforms that we would have used to film the shows. Um, right. The editors, and, and the and sound engineers, the lighting as engineers. Well. The on these, on these shows uh, that we had here. So of course we want to thank you for the support. As usual, you know, Digicellus family to us here. And we look forward Definitely. to the support in the future as well. Colin, that's all we have time for this morning. I want to thank you again. And uh, I wish you and Digicel, of course, uh, continued success in everything that you're doing because you're doing it right. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much, guys. Have all a right. great morning. Really happy birthday, brother. Oh, <laughs> thank you as well. <laughs> <laughs> blessings, blessings.